Jayaha! Time to activate the new male-female codes. You know, within the spiritual realm, we have these archetypes, these gods and goddesses, merging energies. You have Shiva and Shakti, uh, Rama and Sita, you know, Krishna and Radha, and you have all these archetypes. In the tarot system also, you have male-female archetypes, and in the, in the Greek gods and goddesses systems as well. So, um, what we can say, or what we can do about, you know, reactivating the codes of evolution for male-female dynamics is that we can tap into the collective consciousness, we can tap into something in the invisible that can inspire us. The code words that I'm using are Shiva Shakti. It's very simple. You know, Shiva represents the masculine and Shakti the feminine. And when you call on those realities, when you call on the dynamics of Shiva and Shakti together, what you're calling is the ideal play of polarized energies, you know, merging as one, in one stream of manifestation, as one spirit. And uh, these two archetypes are very powerful for couples. They're very powerful for anybody trying to relate to the opposite sect or trying to relate in polarized ways to another human being. The reason why it's so powerful is because this energy reality comes and sponsors, guides you, inspires you, gives you codes of behaviors or how to relate to the other person. And so if all you have left, you know, in your life are models of relating that are based on pop culture, you know, on songs and on literature and so on, very often you are going to miss the point to the original source, the place where those perfected models are right there waiting for you to call them in and waiting for you to incarnate them. And so when you do Shiva Shakti rituals, what you're doing is like you're invoking this perfect model into your system and bringing the pure original harmony and dynamics between male and female. And so it's a very powerful thing to do, to go back to the source, invoke these energies and call them in. We live in a world right now where, you know, couples and family structures are really exploding. What used to be true like 100 years ago in terms of couples staying together for a lifetime and really sticking with each other um, has been partially dissolved. You know, today, couples are splitting really fast. So the idea that you stay with somebody for a lifetime has been dissolved. In the process of this dissolution, we are still kind of trapped into romantic dreams that are not adapted to that. And so we need new codes of relating. We need new codes to actualize all that and bring that back into, into the, the core of our lives. And what that means, specifically, is anchoring that ideal energy this ideal set of dynamics between men and women in the form of divine archetypes. Once you invoke those archetypes, you will notice that on the mind level, you have models of relating that start appearing with very conscious and clear values that you want to anchor in the core of your, your couple or in the core of your relationship, in the core of the dynamics that you have with a man or a woman that you are relating to. Those values can be, for instance, honesty, truth, clarity, consistency, presence, responsiveness, commitment, transparency. Now there is a whole list of values that when anchored into the dynamics of your relationship are going to make your life really easy, exciting, and beautiful. So I'll say more about that in another video. For now, just remember that this is very simple. Shiva Shakti. This is one of the possible archetypes that you can tune in. I love you.